and welcome to Chrome Face 52 Transformer Review. Today we have R.I.D. Fuck, I don't remember what this guy's name is. Anyway, it's Bruticus. That's all we care about, right? Bruticus. Uh, whatever. Ruination? Yeah, Ruination. Whatever. Alright, Ruination comes to us from the 2001 Robots in Disguise line. G1 reissue of our beloved Combaticons, forming our monstrous Bruticus. And there he is, Ruination, all is ruining glory. G1 repaint beauty, full completeness, and all that other fun stuff. And we got all the individual guys, and for legal reasons, whatever, they're all renamed, and but none of them are retooled. We still have the old tool, so here we are, Ruination and the Commandos. It was back. It's pretty much useless any time, all the time. So, there they all apply R, and now we'll get for combining them into the beautifulness that is ruination yes and all the so we're gonna do as we're gonna mix it up i don't know i don't know how it was before and i see that it's just weird that they they have the, the flyers as the legs and the ground vehicles as the arms to me i i don't know i prefer the, the ground vehicles as legs and air vehicles as arms but that's just me and I just realized we never actually extended his, his leg, this freaking brick. But that's all right. Nah, we'll just not even worry about that. So the feet are marked. This is a right foot. So this, so we'll put that underneath here, and this will become the right leg. So there's that. And then he'll sit over here somewhere. Okay, we'll just, that's all there is to it. We'll just brick him up. Um, same thing with this guy, you know, we'll just, but he, he only goes about halfway into vehicle mode. So again, we gotta, it's kind of a pain to get those legs up and down, but I uh, apologize for, for my hand there. Okay. Again, lovely shoddy camera work here. So, so the gun, uh, gun can can kind of just go on in the back there. You know, you do whatever you want. You could even use the gun as a hand eventually, and instead of the hand, I can fit in there. Yeah, so. Sorry, this is all happening off ha off camera here. I need to, because that's something I need to work on. But, um, uh, get get that foot on there. And so, yeah, the, the cannon doesn't really work on the foot there. So, all right. So here here's here's where where. We're, where it gets kind of stuck, we can, we can get this guy transform into arm mode, but it's kind of hard to get him out. So, but I guess we don't have to worry about that today. So you can see, it's kind of hard to, you know, even though I've loosened him up, it's still pretty tight there. Uh, so actually, we're not turning this back into vehicle mode. What we're doing is, is we're actually. I'm going to go ahead and slide these all the way up, slide his knees all the way up to his hips, keeping the feet down, and then, and then uh, that locks in like that, and then, uh, okay, then, then we actually slide his hips back eventually, so I'll get around to it later, we'll get the, Tail, 
fail in place there with the peg out. Okay. Yeah, sorry, this is that this is terrible. I know. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and slide that. Go ahead and slide that down. There we go. And then I guess it doesn't matter which way you can put the the rotors, but that's we'll just leave it like that. And uh, I like putting the hand in in the upper peg because it gives more clearance for the weapons or the front, you know, as it's there. And it doesn't matter, you know, depending on which you want it on the left. Or right, would depend on make all the differences to what pig, it's all your preference, whatever you want to do, you can do it. So we'll go ahead and close up his head here and get our get our shoulder points going on, I guess. As you call it the shoulder point, I don't know. Again, sorry, I holding it too close to the camera here. I'm working on it. Open up the peg, collapse all the, the wings and the fins. Again, this guy's going to be the, the right arm, so we'll take the right hand and we'll put it with the R out on the top of the peg, like so. Like I said, we do that to get gun clearance. But in the lower peg, then it's harder for them to hold a weapon. So we'll go ahead and put his, get rid of the shield, yeah, get rid of his, his uh, weapons there and his bra. Why he needs a bustier, I don't know, but hey, whatever. I'm not going to judge. Alright, so we're going to reposition and rearrange. So, Almost, almost going back into base mode. Almost, but we'll leave, we'll leave the calves intact. Calves just basically become giant hamstrings. Careful pulling that shit. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and attach the legs so we can kind of stand and. Sometimes this one, this left thigh doesn't like the peg in, or get pegged, I guess. Yeah, that, that probably just offended somebody with that too. Oh well. Alright, so make sure you're, we square up the hips here. And, and there we go. There we go. Okay. And now, let me make sure that his... Octane's arms are pointing backwards, and let's fill that here in a second, and we'll get the get ruination arms in place there. And yep, I guess I'll just get them situated here. He usually stands pretty good, but he seems to be a little wobbly today. I'm not sure. Uh, there we go. Uh, not sure why he's not stable there. So, one of the issues, um, I'm sure this plagues the G1, the original as well, where Mega Octane's arms don't really stay in place. They kind of act like their own independent joint. Which kind of uh, makes it difficult when we put on the chest piece because there are there are little tabs that go underneath the arms, so you can't have them down. They have to be up like that, but they can't be all the way up. They have to be pointed back like that. Otherwise, they just don't. It just doesn't fit. And it'll pop off. So 
So you see it there in front of uh, the front of the shoulder there. For the, so there it is now. You can pretty much do whatever you want with the guns. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but keeping with individual pieces, you know, we'll put the. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's get the shield. The shield goes on the back like this. Um, not sure why. Why he basically has a butt plate. It just, but you know, it gets it up and out of the way. It's there. You don't have to look at it. But it's weird because now he's that. I just I don't like it. But it is what it is, and that's where it's supposed to go. So you can do whatever you want with it, you can do it off the side or whatever. I guess. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and put all the weapons on and get it all situated. And so all the guns have three millimeter pegs and three millimeter peg holes, so you can pretty much Combine them however you want. Uh, we'll put the the cannons on the respective pieces independently of of all the blasters. But all the blasters can can be combined themselves. See that's see that's that's exactly what I was talking about. It's just it's, a, it's impossible to keep the chest piece on because it's impossible not to move that shoulder arm piece. Um, so these will go on however you want. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, it's kind of there we go. There we go. Well, they stay. It should stay. And they're really they're they're pretty tight. It's just kind of fumbling today. So. It's kind of weird. Uh, you can flip them around so they're on the outside, which is probably better. But it all depends on, you know, how you put all the guns together. So the little blaster actually fits onto this one pretty good. It actually so makes me think uh, Rotar's hand peg is is worn more than the gun itself. So we'll get those all together and we'll get them into a hand. I'm gonna, yeah. This is not the best combination. I'm just throwing them together here for the sake of getting them done. So, but it should go in there. The five millimeter egg here should hold this just fine eventually somehow. So there you go. There's half of it. And. Then we'll combine the other two. You know, not the most clever combination for the weapons, but you know, whatever. We're in a pinch. We're trying to get this done. And so, so two and two. You can, as I say, on you can. Inter they're all completely interchangeable. They can be put together in any kind of combination, mostly. So, around the two. Big ones. You can even combine the two big ones together if you really wanted to make one giant thing with a bunch of little things. But yeah, uh, yeah. Like I said, this thing keeps getting tighter and tighter. I don't know. It's weird. Usually, usually these things get pegs get looser with age. But yeah, yeah. Get my uh, forearm here. There we go. So. There they are. They're all the only the only thing is uh, then this can kind of peg into here for to do something with it. Um, yeah, the only thing I can't seem to find a home for right now at this moment is is, uh, is this cannon, which like I said, it could actually go in place of a hand if you wanted to, but there's really no decent place to stow it. I mean, that kind of works, but that's kind of yeah, that's kind of janky, but there it is. He's all together. All the pieces are on this thing, and with no further ado, 
the ruination head. So there he is. Ruination completed. All pieces attached in a G1-esque reissue beauty here. So, there you go. Nothing left to say. Why am I still here? Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, it's my show, though. Anyway, Ruination. There he is. G1 fresh coat of pink ruininess. Fall apart, Tommy. Yeah, G1. Peace out.